Hey guys, it's Nipsey and welcome to my special second year anniversary video. So if you guys do not know already, it has been two years since I uploaded my first ever YouTube video on this channel. So to celebrate, I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of a special video where we're going to be testing my gaming knowledge and as well, if you guys want to play along with the quizzes that I will be doing in this video, then please go ahead and check out the description where you will find all the links to the quizzes that I will be doing today. So if you guys are hyped for this video then please leave a like down below and let's jump straight into these awesome video game quizzes. Alright guys, let's start off this first quiz. Let's see what's in store. Classic Nintendo games, which part of your body became hard, swollen and painful to the touch after hours of playing Nintendo? Oh, that's quite a hard one isn't it guys? Hmm, I think I'm going to guess fun for that one. Alright, so we got it correct. Every real gamer had a Nintendo firm every now and then. Hope you had fun. Oh, nice. All right, so next one. Name the game. This game involves a speedy blue hedgehog collecting golden rings throughout the course of many action-oriented stages. Of course, we know who that is. It's Freddy the Fastest Hedgehog. <laughs> no, just kidding, guys. It's, of course, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes, a classic. Oh, yes. Uh, by the way, Sonic was almost a fox and a dog. Oh yes, I remember hearing about the rumours that Sega weren't actually going to make Sonic uh, a hedgehog. And I think I heard he was going to be a rabbit as well. But anyway, so let's jump into the next question. Super Game Mashup SNES. Who is the boss of the first King Kong, King Kong Country game? Well, this is one I do not know because I've never played the Donkey Kong Country games. Hmm. I am going to guess that it is... Uh, King K. Rule. Alright, we got it right. Donkey Kong is the boss in the original Donkey Kong game, but in Donkey Kong Country, he is the main character out to get K. Rule, Rule for stealing his banana hoard. Shio Ken is the boss of the second and third Mortal Kombat games, whereas Mother Brain is the boss of Super Metroid. Oh, yes, I remember that now. Now, next question. Racing games. Which of these titles would feature a popular and red plumber brought said plumber away from the platforming environment to race against his many friends and foes like Princess, Toadstool and Bowser and was released for the Nintendo 64? Alright, so I believe this is Mario Kart 64. Yeah, I don't think the original name of Princess Peach was actually uh, Princess Peach. I think it was Princess Toadstool, if I remember correctly. Oh wow, look at this. We've got a lot of info here. The game moved to 3D graphics and allowed multiplayer gaming, which was a popular feature. Uh, feature. The game was a bestseller, praised for its multiplayer mode. Oh, okay. But for, was criticised for being too easy. Yeah, fair enough, I guess. Alright, next question. Give me more. This music game franchise uses controllers shape, uh, controllers shaped as music, musical instruments. Um, published by Activision, the first title was released in 2005 for PS2. Hmm. I'm not actually sure. I'm guessing it's uh, Guitar Hero? Alright, yes, it's correct. Wow, that's a lot of info. I'll let you guys check that out. Next question. A game is Dream Night. 5 a.m. Finally, finally, we go to the Wii to play one of the first games ever. In it, you can play games like tennis and boxing. Ah, okay, so this one is Wii Sports, isn't it? Yes, it was the first one. It was bundled with the Wii, as it says there. It was actually quite a good game. I love the little games that you can play. Excuse me, can I pass? In which of the following games do the likes of Inky and Clyde impute your progress through a succession of mazes? Oh, um, oh that's Pac-Man isn't it? Yeah, it must be Pac-Man. Yes. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Because they're like the name of the uh, jellyfish things. I guess they're jellyfish? Whatever. Anyways, next question. You do it because I won't. Known as Biohazard in Japan is which series of survival horror games that began in 1996 and has spawned many successful sequels and several less well-received film adaptations starring Mila Jovovich. I can I can never pronounce her name. Well, I know this one because I've seen both the films which aren't that bad and I've also played some of the games which is Resident Evil. Yes, oh wow. And made by Capcom. It is, yeah, it's been going on for a really long time. 
But they need to bring back some of the stuff that they did in the, in the, in the original Survival Classic games. But Resident Evil 7 does look awesome. Anyways, let's continue. You can always tell a Nintendo which green apple-loving two-legged chap made his debut in Super Mario World. Um, I'm guessing it's Yoshi, right? Yes, okay. Uh, the dinosaur. He's a dinosaur. Wow. Never knew. The femme fatales of video games. Jill Valentine is a major character in which of the following devilishly hard video game series. I believe that is Resident Evil. Another one from Resident Evil. Let's see my results. Oh wow. Okay, so we got all of the questions right, guys. So everyone got pretty much uh, the second question right. Pretty much, because everyone knows that. 85% uh, on question 5. Yeah, that is quite a hard one because it could have been Rock Band for all people knew. But yeah, we got a score of 7100 because I was uh, replying to those questions very slowly. Alright guys, we are moving on to the next quiz, which is Final Fantasy. Yes. Final Fantasy 6 Trivia. How can you kill any ghost immediately? Oh, um... A ghost. Hmm. I'm guessing... Use magic? <gasps> no! That's wrong! Fight it! Use a phoenix down, what? Okay. Right, this is totally out of my depth with Final Fantasy because I haven't played all the games but still I love the series. Who's the main hero in uh, Tactics? Oh, this is quite a hard one, I don't actually know. Is it Ritz? Like, I've played... oh dear. Oh, it's much. Like, I have played Brave Exvius but I've never played Tactics. Ritz is the main character in the game, not the main hero though. Oh, okay. Mute is also a main character and shall we say the, f the second main character. Uh, Easel is a new Mao, whatever that is, who has invented anti the anti law cards. Okay. Next question. The Who Are My Final Fantasy uh, 8 GFs? I, pref I protect from foes. My attack is called Tornado Zone. Who am I? Um, Tornado Zone. I don't think it's Diablo Leviathan. Mm, is it that one? That one. Okay, right. So, Pentamonra's attack is elementally wind based. Okay. And this thing. <laughs> this thing. Pandemona can be drawn from Fujin. Fujin. During the boss battle against Raijin and Fujin in Balam. These names. I'm struggling with them already. Okay, Cloud was part of Soldier in Shinra. Who did he once work for in Soldier? I think I know this. Um, I believe it's Sephiroth, right? Yeah. Uh, he worked with Sephiroth. We see this in Calm when Cloud explains about how he joined Soldier. We also hear from Cloud that he looked up to Sephiroth as a great leader. Yes, I remember this because this is one of the first things that you find out in the game. Uh, I got into the game about four hours in or five hours in around the part when Cloud dresses up in like a women's outfit that part was so funny But yeah, it's still an awesome game. I need to complete it though. I need to complete it one day. Right, so next question Final Fantasy XII Mania. What's the name of Bangar that hunts Belafor through the game? Oh um, What is his name? I don't really know I've played the game, but I don't know his name. Is it Miglio? No, that one. Okay. Uh, Banganum appears early on in the game, attacking Belafor and the others in Lusa Mines. He also appears later on and ambushes the party in Nam Yensa Sansi during a certain Mark Hunt. Oh, I don't actually know this. I have played this game. I do not remember that guy at all. Oh well. Alright, that's something. Next question. Oh, Final Fantasy XII again. What is the name of the, this world that Final Fantasy XII takes place in? Oh, um, I'm, I actually don't know. Is it Terra? No. Spira? Oh, I should have gone for that one. I was thinking that one. So it says here, Spira is the world in Final Fantasy X and the Terra and Gaia are both continents in Final Fantasy IX. Is that? Yeah. Wow, okay. So I got those completely wrong. Oh well, let's move on to the next question. Oh no, another tactics one. What are the three main characters' names? Uh, in ta in ta yeah, tactics and dance. Um, was it this one? Yeah, okay, I remember that from the previous question, so that's kind of like extra points for me, I guess. So, 
Eight questions. Now, what job has the ability to call upon monsters to deal great damage? Um, it might be the summoner, I think. I think it's the summoner. Yes, okay. Uh, examples of summons are Ilf Ifrit, Shiva and Ramu. Oh yeah, the classic summons. They are more, but the strongest is Madin. Madin is the holy element and therefore deals the most damage to zombies. Oh, that's awesome. All right, ninth question. The Crisis of Crisis Core. What's the full name of the main character in Crisis Core? Um, oh, I think it's Zack, isn't it? Yeah, I remember this. Uh, Zack Fair takes the leading role as a soldier operative dreaming to reach the first class as a hero. With his confidence he leaps into battle into battles headfirst with a carefree attitude. But when things start to go terribly wrong with his best friend and the Shinra company, he is forced to focus more than he ever has before. Wow. So, I haven't actually seen the film, the Crisis Core film that's based off Final Fantasy VII. I've seen bits of it, and I kind of know there's like a guy in it that's like not in the game, and that's Zack. Very interesting though, let's move on to the final question. Final Fantasy VII, the Shinra, who kills the original President Shinra? I don't actually know this, kind of spoilers. I'm guessing it's Sephiroth. <laughs> oh yes, of course it's Sephiroth. Um, this is revealed when you find out the sword, the sword of Sephiroth in the back of the president. Soon after that, Palmyr comes out of his hiding place and tells you about the situation. Alright, let's see my results guys. I didn't do as well on this one, but it's still fine. Oh, I got below an average score. I think I need to scrub up on my Final Fantasy knowledge guys. That just goes to show that I'm not doing great on my Final Fantasy knowledge. I need to definitely scrub up. Even though a lot of them are quite varied in particular areas of the Final Fantasy games, but still, meh. Okay guys, so we're going to be doing another quiz, but this is from a different website, so I will leave the links in the description for this one. So for the first question, we have who is the most famous video game character of all time? So we have Solid Snake, Link, Mario, Donkey Kong and Sonic. So for that one, I'm going to guess that it's Mario, so I'm going to write that down. I was prepared for this quiz guys, so let's write it down. Who is the elven sword wielding green clothed hero in The Legend of Zelda? So that is of course Link, so that is B. Normally in the game title, if it has the name of one of the characters, people assume that it's like the character that you play as, where it's, it's different in The Legend of Zelda, which is very, very cool. So let's move on to the next question. In what game series are golden rings used as life, energy and money? So I think this is Sonic, isn't it? Yeah, because it can't be the other ones. It must be Sonic, so let's put that down. Question four, in what series were Dracula and the Grim Reaper recurring villains? Um, I believe it's Castlevania, isn't it? Because it's all based off that sort of um, mythology or whatever you want to call it about Dracula and vampires and things like that. So I think that is right that it's about Castlevania and the Grim Reaper, it just makes more sense I guess. Might be a chance that I get this wrong but it's worth a shot guys, it's always worth a shot. I've fought a lot of bees so far, that's quite weird. Question 5, NES was short for Never Ending Simulation, oh if only. New Enterprise System, not ever still. Uh, Nintendo Entertainment System and of course it's D, I mean as amazing as A sounds. I'm gonna have to go for D because of course it makes the most sense so let's put that down. Next question, what was the first home console? Oh this is quite a hard one. So we have NES, Sega Genesis, uh, the Atari 2600, the Atari uh, 1320 or Odyssey. Oh this is quite a hard one because I think it was Atari because like when they first released one of the consoles it was like amazing at first but then later on they were doing like sort of like spin-off games or games based off like pac-man and something and then that's when things were starting to just go down go downhill so i think it probably is atari you know like first home console it just makes more sense and I know that the Atari were like a lot of money in the day, like loads of so much money from what I've researched, so 
Hmm, but the question is which one? I might just go for D because, you know, it's a smaller number than 2600, so let's just go for that. Question 7. What part of a Xbox 360 causes the red ring of death? The graphics card, heat sink, the lights, both A and B, none of the above. So I believe that is the lights, isn't it? That's uh, what happens when pretty much your console is about to die or, it, you know, it's coming towards the end where, you know, you can't really play that many games on it anymore or it's like, nope, you cannot play this console anymore. Get rid of me, throw me in the trash and buy me a new one. So I think for this one, I'm gonna put C. So question eight, what is known, nice typo there, as the hardest game of all time? Wow, this is quite a tricky one. So we got Ghosts and Goblins, Assassin's Creed, Ninja Gaiden, a Gaiden, not Gaiden, Contra, Neverwinter Nights. I don't actually know this one. Like, I remember when I first played a Ninja Gaiden game and I was like, wow, this is so hard. But that's just, you know, that's coming from my perspective. I don't really know what these other games are, like Contra, I've heard of it. Neverwinter Nights, don't know that one. Ghosts and Goblins, I don't know that one either. Assassin's Creed, they're not that hard. Like, they're, not, they're nowhere near as hard as things like Dark Souls. Like, if that was on the list, I would have gone for Dark Souls, but... Wow, this is quite a tricky one. I think I'm gonna go for Contra. I'm just gonna pull that down because like if I remember the name or something, it must have a reason why. So I'm just gonna go for Contra. Question nine, how many buttons were on the original NES controller, including the D-pad? Well, so we've got four, five, eight, 10 or 15. I don't think there was 15, four is too little. It, so it's got to be, 5, 8 or 10. I don't think it's 5 either, you know. It's probably 8 or 10. Um, so, guessing with the D-pad, so you've got 4 on the D-pad, you have the buttons on the sides, but I'm trying to think how many would be on there. I think for that one, I'm going to answer that for 8. I think there's 8 buttons on the NES controller. Okay, so the final question. How many forms does the final boss of The Legend of Dragoon have? Wow. Um, I'm going to guess two for that one because I really don't know what that one is. So let's just pull that down. So that's all the question guys. Let's find out how many I got. Wow, I could have answered the questions just like this. Wow, I'm so silly. So let's just put down all the answers. Oh, I was wrong on that one. It's actually the Odyssey. So the next question I put for this one, it was obviously Link. Yes, that is right. We got that question right. Let's move on to the next one. So, I believe that one was Nintendo Entertainment System. Yes, that is right. Let's move on to the next one. What part of the... Ah, oh, yes, yes. That was uh, the lights, right? It is the... Oh, wait. What? Oh, both A and B. Oh, right. Clever, clever. So, it's the graphics card and the heat sink. Ah, uh, that's quite a trick question. So, I put the answer down, guys. There's no changing now. There's no, there's no way that I'm going back for that. So, the next question I put for that one, it was Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes, of course that one's right. Yes. All right, moving on. Uh, for that one, it's Castlevania I put down. All right, so it is Castlevania. Nice. Um, for this one, Contra. I don't know. Ghosts and Goblins? Wow, really? I might have to look this up later. Wow, okay. Ghosts and Goblins. So, for this one, I put two because I wasn't actually sure how many. Seven! Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of forms there. How many buttons were on the original NES? So, for that one, I put eight. Oh, that's right. Nice, okay. It makes the most sense, I guess. And as well, this one, I put down Mario because, like, he's been... Uh, yeah, there we go. He's been around for ages, like years and years since like 1985. He's like the star of how gaming went kaboom pretty much. So let's submit my answers guys and let's see our score. Let's see how well we did. So we got 60 out of 100. That's actually not that bad. Certificate of Achievement, Dino Games General Knowledge Quiz. Nice, okay. So apparently I got a fail for my results when I got six questions answered correctly out of 10. I think that should be a pass because if you get above average, it should be a pass. If I was doing an exam, I would have passed with 60%, surely. I would have passed. 
that is a load of rubbish. So guys, that is pretty much all of the quizzes that I have for you guys today. I really hope that you enjoyed this special little video where we're doing something a little bit different instead of like playthroughs and let's plays and things like that. You know, it's good to kind of mix it up a little bit, you know? But anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed and if you did, please leave me a like and don't forget to leave a comment on your thoughts as well and how well you did on the quizzes as well. Please let me know. If you guys are new to the channel and you want to check out what type of videos I will be uploading, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out a single video. So guys, thank you very much for joining me on this special little video and I hope to do more of these in the future. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video of whatever I do next. So until then, see ya!